Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Rohit Tech. Today in this video I am going to show you, how to download and install my SQL 8.0.29. Now I am going to download my SQL. Open Safari browser. Type google.com. Press enter. Type in Google search bar. Download my SQL. Press enter. Click on first link, www.mysql.com. Let's drop down little bit. Click my SQL community, GPL, downloads. Click my SQL community server. Select operating system. Select Mac OS. Select OS version. Select Mac OS 12x86 64 bit. Our MySQL version is 8.0.29. This is the latest version. I will download the DMG version here. Click download. Click no thanks, just start my download. Click allow. Now my SQL download is started, it will take some time, it's depend on your internet speed. Downloading is completed. Go to downloads. Let's close web browser. Right click on my SQL software. Open with disk image mounter. Let's close download console. Let's double click on my SQL software. Click allow. This package will run a program to determine if the software can be installed. Click allow. Click on continue. Click continue. Click agree. Click install. Type the Rohit user password. Click install software. My SQL Server installation is completed, but some additional configuration is required. Default option is selected is, use strong password encryption. My SQL 8 support a new stronger authentication method based on SHA256. If I am selected, use legacy password encryption. This means the legacy authentication method should only be used when compatibility with my SQL 5, Connectors or clients is required and a client upgrade is not feasible. In my case I will choose, use strong password encryption. Click next. Please enter a password of root, it is similar like set windows administrator password, root user is similar like administrator, you must put the strong password. The password 8 least 8 characters, that are a mix of letters, numbers, and symbols. Click on finish. Type the Rohit user password. Click OK. As you can see, the message is showing, thank you for installing my SQL server. Click on close. 
If you want to keep installation file, then click on keep, but in my case I will choose move to bin. I am going to check our SQL server, it is working or not. Go to system preferences. Let's drop down little bit. Double click on my SQL. Here it is showing version of my SQL, it's 8.0.2.9. Currently the MySQL service is running. If you want to stop SQL services, click on stop. Type the Rohit user password, click OK. As you can see the MySQL services is stopped. If start again, let's click on start MySQL server. Type the Rohit user password, click OK. Now our SQL server is started. Click on Configuration tab. This is our SQL Server storage location. Let's close my SQL Server. Now I am open a my SQL Server on Terminal. Click Go. Click on Utilities. Click on Terminal. Let's close Utilities. Slash USR Slash local Slash MySQL Slash bin Slash MySQL Space Hyphen U Space Root hyphen p press enter type password of root user as you can see now open our sql server on mac terminal now we will look at the databases of mysql which are already there type command show space databases space sami colon press enter now here is showing our default databases of SQL. Now I am going to create new database of SQL Server. Type, create, space, new, space, database, space, rtech, sami colon. Press enter. There is some mistake in this command, only then the error has come here. Okay, we found the mistake now I will put the correct command. Type, create, space, database, space, rtech, sami colon. Press enter. Now our database is created. Now let's check the databases again. See, the rtech database is showing. Now exit the SQL Server. Close Terminal. So viewers in this video you can learn, how to download and install and configure my SQL Server on Mac OS Monterey. Thanks for watching this video. Please like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for latest updates.